In this video, I'm going to show you how to install mods on Starfield and which ones you can possibly get. From mods to using your boost pack as a jetpack where you just hold down the button and it uses the boost entirely, where, you know, this is actually kind of cool. Like, no, no joke where you can just like spam it like this. It makes the jetpack and the boost pack feel so much better. To mods like inventory management, which makes accessing your inventory and seeing everything, like seeing how many weapons I have here, seeing the damage, the, the, the mass, the value, and even being able to hide or even add extra columns of different random stuff that you might want to add here. This is no doubt one mod that you're probably gonna want to get for yourself. I'm not sure if you can notice this one, but when I open up the inventory and I close it and I do it like false like this, you can see your game probably doesn't do this. Like open inventory, close inventory. Open inventory, close inventory. Go check it in your game how long the animations make it makes it take for you to do that. There's a mod that actually removes those animations so that you can just access your inventory and close it as quickly as you need. Open up your map, close your map like that. Nice and easy, no, no random long animation that you need to watch just to do simple mundane tasks. There's also a mod to add icons on different types of things that you're looting so that you know what it is. For example, these ones with the bullets, you know this is ammunition. These are healing packs. This one says HP up. This one has a shield. You can get these mods and more from the Nexus Mods website, and I'm going to show you how to use their Vortex app to basically load them onto your game and take them off if you don't like one and you want to try different ones and, and you know, test all of them. The first thing you're going to do is head over to the Nexus Mods website, which you can find a link in the description down below. You will have to make an account or sign in because you cannot download stuff, download the files without having an account and being signed in. Then you're going to go ahead and search, search for games and type Starfield. When you find Starfield, you'll find it over here and you can go ahead and scroll down here. You can search popular 30 days, popular all time and see all the mods that are being made currently because right now there's a bunch coming out like literally almost every hour or something. Now, if you want to install each mod manually, which is very difficult, I recommend going to the each mod, seeing how it's installed and hope that they all work together. But if you want to have a program that manages all of these mods, for example, I'm going to drag on screen an app called Vortex, which is actually connected with Nexus mods, where you can actually have a ton of mods enabled for your game all at once. And you can also search for updates in case the mods have updates. Or if it's not working, you can go ahead and disable it or even uninstall it if you don't want one of the mods that you're using anymore. This makes it easier to kind of control how many mods you have on your game, especially if you're going here, like this is a collection, which I'll show you how to use in a short while. To get this Vortex app, you will need to be on the Nexus Mods website. The quickest way is probably going to Mods over here, just to bring down this drop-down menu, and you'll see there's a Get Vortex, and you just download and install this application over here like that. You will have to link it to your Nexus Mods account like I have. And then you'll go to the games tab here on the left in the middle and you'll basically add your, your game that you want to add for in this case, it's Starfield. And all you gotta do is make sure that this is linked to where your game is installed. And this only works for Steam. If you're playing on Game Pass, this doesn't work, unfortunately. That's kind of sad for you guys. So if you own the game through Steam, this will work for you. So once you have the Vortex app, you literally just have to find mods that you like. For example, maybe we go for the star UI inventory. This is that nice inventory one that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So over here, you can read information about it. You can see what it does in case you want to see exactly how this mod affects your game or changes things. But if you want to get straight to installing it, all you have to do is press this Vortex button right over here. And this will download it straight to your Vortex and attach it in your mods for your game directly. Now, I'm not actually using individual mods right now. Right now, I'm using a collection, which you can access from the top of the screen here. Go to Collections, hit the Browse All button. And of course, this is through the Starfield game where we had Starfield selected. And you'll see here, I'm using this one over here, the number one most downloaded one currently right now with 18, almost 19,000 downloads. It comes with 55 mods. Right now, I'm only using 50 of them because you can skip or uninstall certain ones. And all you got to do is click this. And then go ahead and click add to Vortex. And this will allow you to download one mod at a time, unfortunately. Unless you have the premium version, it will actually download everything for you in a nice smooth way. Without it, you will basically have the app telling you to download one mod at a time. Once you've clicked add to Vortex, it will add in the Vortex app over here as a collection. And it'll basically try to download each mod one at a time. If you do have the premium version for Nexus mods, you can download all of them automatically and you just come back when it's over. Since there's a ton of mods, it does take up to 20 minutes or so to individually click and download each mod one by one. Essentially, there'll be a thing on the screen that says download. It will open up a tab to Nexus mods and you'll just click slow download. It will download through the app. 
and once it's done, it will pop up the next mod on the on the app on the Vortex app. So it's it's quite simple, but it does take a bit of time. If you're confused about anything, you can always read the instructions over here. Also on the Constellation by V2 section over here, you can see there's a bunch of information. I recommend going down to number four, which is installation. So we scroll down a bit here. Here it is over here, installation. You can go ahead and read all these different things that you will probably need. First thing for the PC updates, mine was fine, but you can go ahead and update yours if you haven't done this in the past before. For. This collection has a whole walkthrough starting from actually download the Vortex mod to setting up a profile with the Starfield game and guides you along pretty damn well. I'll also link this in the description down below if you're interested in this collection specifically. This is exactly what I did to get my game working and it works perfectly with all the mods. So go ahead and give those links a try. There are a ton of mods right now and as the game updates, you'll have to see the mods updating. Some mods are replacing other mods as new and better mods literally come out and Modding is just getting started for Starfield and things are going quite crazy. And this is how you can get into modding if that's what you want to do for Starfield. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.